யூனிட் ஃபைவ் மாடர்னைசேஷன் கண்டென்ஸ் ஃபைவ் பாயிண்ட் ஒன் இன்ட்ரடக்ஷன் ஃபைவ் பாயிண்ட் டூ அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் மாடர்னைசேஷன் ஃபைவ் பாயிண்ட் த்ரீ கிடன்சஸ் தியரி ஆஃப் மாடர்னிட்டி ஃபைவ் பாயிண்ட் ஃபோர் டிக்ளைன் ஆஃப் த பேரடிம் ஃபைவ் பாயிண்ட் ஃபைவ் போஸ்ட் மாடர்னிசம் ஃபைவ் பாயிண்ட் சிக்ஸ் த டிபைட் ஃபைவ் பாயிண்ட் செவன் மாடர்னைசேஷன் அண்ட் குளோபலைசேஷன் ஃபைவ் பாயிண்ட் எயிட் கன்க்ளூஷன் ஃபைவ் பாயிண்ட் நைன் ஃபர்தர் ரீடிங் லேர்னிங் ஆப்ஜெக்டிவ்ஸ் ஆஃப்டர் கோயிங் த்ரூ திஸ் யூனிட் யூ வில் பி ஏபிள் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் த கன்செப்ட் ஆஃப் மாடர்னைசேஷன் கிரிட்டிகலி டிஸ்கஸ் த கண்டெம்பரரி தியரிஸ் அண்ட் மோட் ஆஃப் மாடர்னிட்டி and explain how modernity is cross linked with development 5.1 introduction through the four units of block 1 we have already acquired a basic understanding of the concept and process of development and other related concept we also understood that there are varied perceptions about the concept and process of development and that these perceptions are not static but keep on changing although we did refer to some of these perspectives in block 1 in the present block 2 we will be dealing with them in great details let us start with modernization the concept of modernization emerged as the response of the western social science to the many challenges faced by the third world with the process of polit- political decolonization following the second world war the new nations were in a hurry to launch massive programs of economic development and technical change the need for developing new paradigm to shape and other their development program was strongly felt modernization was one such formulation which held out considerable promise in this unit we explore the concept of development in the context of modernization at the outset we discuss the notion of modernization as a po- paradigm in sociological literature particularly in the writings of giddens the purpose here is to develop an understanding of modernization theory and then go on its criticism and emergence of postmodernism as a paradigm in the course of tracing this trajectory we explore the many dimensions of the development that acquire importance at different stages 5.2 understanding modernization modernity may be understood as the common behavior system that is historically associated with urban industrial and literate and participant societies of western europe and north america it is characterized by the rational and scientific world view growth and the ever increasing application of science and technology which is coupled with the continuous adaptation of institutions of society to imperatives of the world view and the emerging technologies box 5.1 the concept of modernity modernity involves the rise of modern society secularized societies with an institutional uh, separations of the state from the civil society as much greater degree of social and technical division of labor and the former of nation states using cultural and political borders a rationalistic epistemology and an individualistic and objectivistic ontology a series of societal changes are implicit in the process of modernization agrarian societies are characterized by the predominance of a scriptive particularistic and diffused patterns and they have stable local groups and limited spatial probability occupational differentiation is relatively simple and stable and the stratification system is a differential and has a diffused impact the modern industrial society is characterized by the predominance of universal specific and achievement norms a degree a high degree of mobility a developed occupational system relatively insulated from other social uh, structures a class system often based on achievement and the presence of functionally specific non ascriptive structures and associations historically evolved institutions continuously adapt themselves to the change dedicated by the phenomenal increase in the human knowledge that has resulted from the control humanity has over its environment modernization theory does not clearly spell out its distributive objective the emergence of an implicit egalitarian and participative ethos does however indicate the narrowing of social gaps and promotion of greater quality as desirable ends modernization as a form of cultural response involves attributes which are basically universalistic and evolutionary they are prehumanistic trans ethnic and non ideological the essential attributes of modernization is rationality rationality transforms thought process at the level of individual and in the process premiates the entire institutional framework of society events and situations are understood in terms of cause and effect strategic of actions are determined by careful means and calculation rationality begins to characteristic all forms of human interactions and enters into people's vision of a new future as well as into their striving for the attainment of objectives 
they set for themselves the co- the concomi can structural changes and value shifts bring about fundamental changes in the entire cultural ethos box 5.2 meanings of rationality the term rationality denotes through thought and actions which are conscious in accordance with the rules and logic and empirical knowledge or objectives are coherent mutually consistent and achieved by most appropriate means the conviction that rationality or reason is the distinctive characteristic of human beings has made it a, a central theme in western philosophy for over 2000 years in so far as this had led to an over estimation of the place and the power of reason in human society it has been criticized as the doctrine of rationalism max weber especially in wirtschaft and jessel shaft 1921 has been responsible for the most expensive extensive use of the term in sociology he, he classifies all action into four types purposively rational sequential action where means are uh, correctly uh, correctly chosen to obtain ends value rational virash rational where action is accord- accordant with the consciousness value standards effectual and traditional the last two types being regarded as deviation from the rational action in this i say the change to change modernization development and politics huntington has identified the following characteristics of the modernization process one modernization by implication development development is a revolutionary process efforts are made to transform rural agrarian cultures into urban industries cultures this is what alvin toffler 1980 would describe as the move from the first wave to the second wave the process of both modernization and development are complex and multidimensional with a series of cognitive behavioral and institutional modifications and reconstructing restructuring both are a systematic process since variation in one dimension produces pro- produces important covariations in other dimensions they are global process they are lengthy processes movement towards the goals of modernization and development takes place through identifiable phases and subphases they are homogenizing process except temporary breakdowns both are irreversible process they are progressive process in the long run they contribute to human well being both culturally and materially reflections and action 5.1 what do you understand by modernization modernization theory evolved from two ideas about social change the conception of traditional versus the modern modern societies and positivism that viewed development as societal evolutions in progressive stages of growth concerned with the development merged in the 1940s as the fallout of the process of decolonization reconstruction after the second world war again the backdrop of the cold war developing countries would evolve the traditional society by rationalizing them through a linear process in the course of which they could evolve into a becoming a country in a modern and developed society the evolutionary theory of development identifies that the different stages variables and process through which the society develops positivist evolutionism implied that all societies would pass through the same set of stages from traditional to modern society that the western society had passed these stages are traditional society preconditions for take off take off for the drive to maturity and fifth the age of high mass consumption the progression of society through these stages of modernization is better known as or rosto stage theory for more details after unit 2 of this course modernization theory took de- took development into a more into a interdisciplinary realm it advocated a social and institutional change to f- facilitate economic transformation it was through a theorizations and mo- of modernity that sociologists made their first foray into development studies discussions on modernity in the present day centers on multiple modernities the notion of multiple modernity expounded by s uh, is, is that explains that modernity in the western has brought a consequences that made a wide uh, bearing ac- uh, across the world these consequences how have not resulted from the global transplanting of the western mode of modernity what are modern situations of various types of and characteristic in various non western countries is in start one of the major advocates of this idea have said the actual development in the modernizing societies have refuted the homogenizing and the homogenic uh, assumptions of this western program of modernity while a general uh, trend towards structural differentiation developed across a wide range of 
institutions in uh, most of these societies in family life economic and political structures urbanization modern education mass communications and individualistic orientation the in which the, the ways in which these arenas were defined and organized varied greatly in different periods of their development giving rise to multiple institutional and ideological pattern he thought that the best way of explaining modern society and the history of modernity is to regard it as the story of a constitutional const- a continual constitutions and reconstitution of a multiplicity of cultural programs through the notion of multiple modernity i sense to add however does not mean only to purpose of a new description of narrative of the history of modernity he argues that modernity and westernizations are not identical his notion of multiple modernity is not only descriptive but also normative through in a negative sense discuss benefits in which leave a, a large section of humankind untouched homogenization in the face of rising ethnicity and plurality is cultural consciousness the social cost and so the cultural erosion implicit the process pose serious concern following persons well known pattern variables modernization assumes status in determined by the achievement rather than descriptive criteria patterns of interact- interactions are gone by un uh, univery versalistic rather than the plu particularistic norms expressions and obligations in the system of role re- relationship acquire great specifically and uh, replace the refuse system that characterized by traditional orders unit uh, units of society society have society tends to be more uh, specialized in self sufficient there is increasing evidence of non differentiation solidarity and integrations extends start suggested that modern society emerges as a consensual mass society and crystallizes as a nation state modernized societies are operated through international institutional structures that are capable of continuing absorbing changes that are inherent in the process of modernization as a series of organizations that are complex and differentiated relatively self sufficient and functionally specific seeks to discharge functions in diverse and disparate fields simultaneously the roles of family and kinship based organizations can more narrowly defined government and associated units the bureaucracy economic and financial institutions armed forces and organizations dealing with specific function areas such as education health housing public transport and recreation assumes increasingly important roles box 5.3 role of the government in modernization by and large the government is vested with an important role in modernizing the country and the plans planning the country in the words of wilbur and jameson the government must intervene in the economy to offset the end development impact of the two types of obstacles to development on the side of non rational behavior the government can attempt to convince its citizens of the need for modernization while at the same time substituting its own entrepreneurial ability and knowledge to fill that vacuum on the side of markets and the government can again offset the difficulties through economic planning by developing a coherent overview of the economy through the various means at its disposal the orthodox result of growth in income can be attained 5.3 giddens theory of modernity recent social changes have led to debates over the very nature of the contemporary social world there is a debate between those who continue to see contemporary society as a modern world and those who argue that the substantial change has taken place in recent years that that we have moved into a new postmodern world most of the classical sociologists were engaged in an analysis and critique of modern society which is clear in the works of marx weber durkheim and simmel as we move into the 21st century it is obvious that the today's world is very different place the issues is whether the changes in the world are modest and continuous with those associated with modernity or are so dramatic uh, and uh, discontinuous that the contemporary world is better described by a new term postmodern a host of social changes are fundamentally al- al- altering our world and a traditional classic class politics and the faith in progress are being replaced by identity politics and new social movements such as feminism gay liberalization ecologism ethnic revivalism religious neo fundamentalism these changes have brought 
with the changes to the philosophical discourse of modernity the conceptual framework of social science and the historical legacy of enlightenment rationality have been challenged by new postmodern knowledge of which contents that reason is form of illegitimate power that marginalizes and excludes uh, um, cultural vocabularies that do not conform to its categories gidden said that the that in order to understand and conceptualize contemporary society we need a new sociological theory capable of grasping its complexity he describes the modern world as a juggernaut modernity is the form of juggernaut in extremely dynamic it is an unaware world with great leaps in the place scope of and profoundness of change over period systems gidden defines modernity in terms of four basic institutions the first is capitalism characterized by commodity production private ownership of the capital property less wage labor and a class system derived from this characteristic the second is industrialism which involves the use of inanimate power sources that in machinery to produce goods industrialization is not restricted to the workplace and its effects and are other things such as transportation communication and domestic life the third it is surveillance capacities which defines the supervision of the activities of subject populations mainly but not exclusively in the political sphere the fourth is its military power or the control of the means of violence including the more industrialization of war it would be noted that the macro level gidens focus on the national state rather than the more conventional sociological focus on society which he seems sees as radically different from the type of community and characteristic of pre-modern society according to gidden's modernity is given dynamism by three essential aspects first time space separation with modernization time was standardized in large part social interaction does not take place at the same time and in the same place relationships with those who are physically absent and increasingly distant become more and more likely new technological measures also call for expansion of our space which means that we can be in the same space through no though not necessarily in the same locale the modern rationalized organization for example has been able to connect the local and the global in new ways a modern company can function because it has been possible to break the time space connection second disembedding of social system earlier the institutions and actions of society were embedded in local community the condition has changed because of social relations that are lifted out of the local interactions context by disembedding mechani- uh, mechanisms gidden's distinguishes between the between two types of disembedding mechanism which will contribute to the development of modern institutions one symbolic tokens and expert system together these are called abstract system money is an example of a symbolic token it's place time in a bracket as it function as a means of credit it represent a value that can be later used to purchase new goods the standardized value allows transactions to be carried out without actually meeting the fra- factoring the notion of space new pattern of interactions are created across time and space expert systems are defined as system of technical accomplishment or professional experts that organize large areas of material and social environment in which we live today the most obvious expert system involves professionals like lawyers and physicians consider the following example in travel by bus one enters a large network of expert systems including the construction of bus routes and the traffic control system the bus can be taken without possessing knowledge of how these systems are constructed one only needs the money for the ticket another expert system the expert system also help to move social relations from one given context to another such a disembedding mechanism requires a time space separation third reflexivity of modern society according to gidden's reflexivity is the third contribution factor in the society profound process of transformation is of two forms the first is general feature of all human action the second type of reflexivity unique to modernity modern society is experiencing a reflexivity at both the institutional and personal levels and this is decisive for the production and change of modern systems and modern forms of social organization gidden defines reflexivity as institutions and individuals a regular and constant use of knowledge as the conditions of society's organizational change 
the firm under undertakes market surveys in order to establish sale strategies the state conducts census in order to establish tax base the increased reflexivity is made possible by the development of network of mass communication with an expansion of the time space dimension the social practices are constantly investigated and changed in the on the basis of newly acquired information today we reflect on tradition and act in accordance with it only if it can be legitimated by a reflexivity to sum up giden state uh, states that modernity is culture of incest incessant reflexivity creates a post traditional social world a modernity spreads throughout the globe it encourages the rise of expert abstract system of knowledge represented by the social and natural sciences this expert system encourages constant change and reflexivity which separates time and space from their particular context remembering them in new ones he also views new social movements centered on a new life politics as integral to the texture of modern life he rejects the claim of surpass modernity and rejects most of it not at, not all tenets associated with postmodernism reflections and action 5.2 what are the main features of giddens theory of modernity 5.4 decline of paradigm the modernization approach dominated the social science domain in the west and in the several parts of the third world for a decade and developed most between the late 1950s and the mid 1960s towards the end of the 1960s however it is began to lose appeal the gap between the promise and performance of modernization was too wide to escape attention the absence of result generated mass apathy and anger and left the modernization elite confused in the process the concept of modernization got demystified it was observed that the paradigm of modernization sought to transfer technology without affecting necessary institutional changes imaginative and systematic efforts were to be directed towards the institutional building for accomplishing the highly specialized and differentiated task implicit in the process of modernization the notion of rationality which was the cornerstone of modernization paradigm was itself ambiguous it is not recognized it is now recognized that rationality can be of different kinds of operating at different level and in different context the explanatory power of the paradigm was limited and the guidelines for action embodied in it were somewhat obscure it was eva- evasive on the vital issue of the property of the masses especially in the less developed ma- developed countries the formulation did not take into account the qualitative changes in the problems that humanity faces the perspective of modernization and development against the backdrop of realities of contemporary world order were not clear thus the globalization global context of modernity remained unexamined the notion of ceaseless and limitless modernization has been challenged powerfully from one other quarter especially by environmentalist and conservationist non renewable natural resource on which the edifice of modernization is built are being rapidly depleted and adequate efficiency and economic substitutes are not yet in sight the consequences of environmental pollution and ecological imbalance are dangerous many vital questions regarding the desirability and possibility of modernization remain unanswered this arrests the search for meaningless meaningful alternatives and inhibits reflections and actions aimed at appropriate solutions 5.5 post modernism a major challenge to sociological theory of modernity came from theoretical position of post modernism post modernism denies any meaningful continuity in history it is a new historical approach epoch that is supposed to have succeeded the modern era of modernity as uh, as hab mass states post modernism is akin to the anarchist wish to explore the continuum of history demolishing theories of modernity is go- is doing so giddens distinguishes between post modernism and post modernity post modernism refer- refers to the recent changes in the architecture literature art poetry and while post modernity refers to recent institutional changes in the social world the finds uh, he finds the later more important but does not believe that the post modernity theoretically captures the meaning of this sociologic social changes in his view the contemporary pers- pers- pervasiveness of reflexivity makes useless the distinction between modern and post modern eras for some theoretic post modernism means that we have entered a new post industrial world which problematizes and old assumptions 
including ideals of social progress, the importance of class as a source of social identity and the very idea of a unified self. A new social world requires a new knowledge. Postmodernization is stabilized the contemporary social theory. It values difference as there are no absolute absolute values that recommend uh, that command over elegant postmodernism conquers critics postmodernism critics all limiting assumptions in social and political life especially those based on rationality that seeks to exclude multiple perspectives of the world it is suspicious of any evolutionary theory and all centralizing tendency and celebrates a diversity of approach to social life and decentralized social movements. 5.6 The Debate Giddens areas Giddens shares many of these themes with contemporary social theories such as Habermas, Turarin and Meluki. These other authors attempt to grasp the distinctive culture of late modernity that is fragile, even changing and in different form that which proceeded it. Due to the worldwide spread of capitalism, the mass media and industrialism, contemporary society is a global society. More and more people realize that their identities and modern systems can no longer rely on taken or for granted traditions. With the decline in the tradition, hence there has been a rise in reflexivity. This theorists view modernity as an unif- unfinished project and construct narrative of modernity which cons- cumulate, culminates in a reformed vision of rationality, universality, and evolutionary development. For Giddens, as for these theorists in the late modern era of highly differentiated and specialized Western societies, conflicts arise in the area of information and communication. The line between the public and private issues becomes blurred. Reflexivity relates self with the society in ever-changing ways. Critiquing postmodernism, Giddens and other contemporary sociologic theorists reconstruct modernity, viewing it as internally complex. Like Weber, they are especially aware of the problems created by rationality which destroys meaning. Like the postmodernists, they recognize that a major problem of modern culture has been the destructive potential of rationality that is not sensitive to social and natural context. Such a concept of rationality also undermines the conditions of self-government largely by translating social questions into issues of technical and democratic policy. Habermas is the strongest defender of the legacy of modernity against the postmodern criticism of it. He sees in modernity tendencies towards the rampant instrumental rationality that distorts alternative, more decorative, democratic vision of social life. Like Parsons, he states that a universalistic rationality is a major achievement of modernity which must integrate an increasingly differentiated and complex modern society. Rise of different types of so- reasoning constitute the key features of modern world. Modernity cannot be rely on traditional justification of rule and action and must ground its criteria for evolution within its own history. In the absence of tradition, cumulative communicative rationality takes on the ethical roles of condition coordinating dif- diverse social actions. He sees the culture of modernity embodied in communicative rationality as a concern with establishing autonomy and justice. For Habermas, this communicative context informs the question of knowledge, the transmission of culture, the formation of personal identity and more general process of social integration. He further contends that the new social movements provides avenues for the development of new values and identity arising in a post traditional and post-industrial society. New social movements represent the main vehicle by which a non-instrumental communicative rationality can be brought into public life. New social movements associated with late modernity such as feminism and environmentalism have fundamentally changed the nature of politics. In some Habermas contended that modernity established an inseparable links between rationality and freedom as demonstrated in the great modernist accomplishments such as democracy and human rights. New social movements are expecting and attempting to implement these achievements in new ways. His championing of the legacy of modernity distances him from the postmodernist. Like Taurine and Meluski, Giddens theorizes a reformed view of modernity that is much more critical than that of 
Habermas. They argue that a new social movement rise, novel issues of culture and identity and global context marked by rapid increases in communication technologies and recognition of importance of social cultural differences. Meluki and Torani contended that the modern social societies exist in the post-industrial context and cultural shift between diverse groups has replaced class struggle over the distribution of resource as a central social conflict. Modern societies are in the chronic combat over the possession and very definition of cultural codes and information. New social movements are the primary agents and carries of innovative discourse and practices in the struggle of the late modern era. This theorist critically engaged the postmodern persuasion, uh, arguing that modernity has not been suppressed, superseded, but uh, remains an unfinished project. As a modernist belief and practices are still central to contemporary societies, they believe that the, tra- the rational reflexivity has replaced tradition as the main form of social solidarity in the modern world. Giddens differs from this theorist in, in that he takes con- tradition more serious, seriously. In the new distinctively modern risk society, people draw on expertise that re- evaluate it in terms of their own particular cultural context and thus utilize this knowledge to evaluate their everyday actions. He argues that modernity excludes and marginalizes particular groups of people who do not fit into these categories. They agree, he agrees with the postmodern claims that the foundations of knowledge are fragile, fragile and there is no inherent pro- progress in history and a new social movements are rising equal qualitatively new issues about social life. He believes that personal identification has also become less firm and more fragmented in the modern world. However, Giddens disagrees with many postmodern tenets. He prefers the idea of late modernity to that of postmodernity. People do not believe, live in a fragmented, unconnected lives. They still construct narrative about their self, but they do not in post-traditional conditions. 5.7. Modernization and Globalization The intellectual portrayal of modernization was as a political and economical position coming into the fore following World War II. It equated uh, the intellectual, cultural and technological advances of various nations as something that needed to be emulated by the poorer, less civilized people of the world. This is connected to the process of modernity which was project of global conquest originating in Europe. By globalization, we mean the profound organization of manufacturing, trade and services within a globally encompassing system. It points to a phenomenon of identity interchangeability as a process, a historical event of the set, the end result of shifting eth- ethno techno media finance and ideo scapes. According its replaced the unveiling unavailing verb modernization because modernists and their opponents depend on modern dual model dualistic analysis uh, such as a central prof- periphery, north south, first world, third world developed and developing etc. The concept of modernization was very much tied to the idea of recreating the world in the image of America and Western European principles and culture. More recently discussions on globalization describes a process by which the world is becoming increasingly interconnected and unified subject to a homogeneous and uniform process of cultural unification. Characters such as Michael Junction or the corporate logos of McDonald and Nick are examples of global awareness. 5.8 Conclusion The similarities between classical modernization studies and new modernization studies can be observed in the constantly of the research focus on third world development. There are important distinctions between the classical studies and the new studies of modernization school. For example, in the classical approach, tradition is seen as an obstacle to development, whereas in the new approach, tradition is an additive factor of development with the regard to the methodology the classical approach applies as theoretical construction with a high level of abstraction. The new approach applies concrete cases studies given in a historical context. Regarding the direction of development, the classical perspective uses unidirectional path which tends towards the United States and European model. 
the new perspective prefers a multi-dimensional directional path of development finally the classical perspective di- demonstrates a relative neglect of the external factors and conflicts that stands out in sharp contrast to the greater attention to the external factors and conflicts bestowed by the new approach development in the changed context poses a challenge and at the same time presents an opportunity this unit begin with an attempt to understand the process of modernization and the evolution of modernization theories the unit goes on discussing how the theoretical position of a postmodernism poses challenges to the sociological theories of modernity we also saw how giddens and other advocates of modernization theories defended their theories and why this they preferred the idea of late modernity to that of post modernity the unit sums up with an analysis of interrelationships between modernization and globalization 5.9 further reading dube sc dube modernization and development George's Modern Sociology Theory, 5th edition, and Weising, Modernization of Indian Tradition. So this is the end of the Unit 5 in Sociology of Development. Thank you very much.